all directors draw their inspiration from different art forms. Some look at paintings, others quote their favorite films. And then there's Luc Besson. Luc Besson loves opera. This idea is supported by several reoccurring elements common to his films. The most obvious one is his attention to music. Starting with his very first feature film, music has always been an essential of his storytelling, especially in Le Dernier Combat, which includes only two words of dialogue and still manages to tell a compelling story heavily relying on the atmosphere evoking music. And even with the amount of dialogue rising throughout his later career, music still seems to be extremely important to Besson, be it through his characters forming a band or visiting an actual opera. But Besson's love goes much further. For starters, let's take a look at one of his earliest projects. Let's talk about Subway. This film is especially interesting for us, because it is by no means subtle about its influences. Not only does it start with a vivid, overture-esque piece of music which sets the tone for what is yet to come, but it also borrows heavily from one particularly famous opera, The Magic Flute. A young man barely escapes a certain end falls in love with a woman whose picture he carries with him and tries to rescue her from an overprotective father figure with the help of music. Sounds familiar? Well, maybe that's because it not only resembles Subway's plot, but also captures about 80% of the magic fluid, the thread being Tamino, Helena is Pamina, The detective being the guard. And of course, a whole band instead of the famous magic flute. Certainly, this comparison starts breaking apart in no time once you get deep into the material. Neither is there an equivalent to Mozart's Queen of the Night, nor is there a distinguishable Papageno. And as soon as we go in-depth on the story, the 80% rapidly turn into 20. But wait, it's not time for pitchforks and torches yet. I've been lying for a reason. So how comes that I had you there for a moment? It's because the song understands which type of story is best told following opera traditions and uses this knowledge all the time. First, let's take a quick look on the main qualities of opera. What makes it stand out? It combines literal storytelling with abstract music, giving the audience more layers to grab. While the text makes itself clear, the music teaches the viewer its abstract rules and then unfolds, telling a part of the story in a subtle manner. It had to. After all, its main purpose was entertainment and accessibility, for which it had to rely on tropes and common knowledge. And back in the day of Mozart's opera, the stories, or libretti as they are called in opera, weren't quite as focused on deeply personal conflicts. Instead, they mainly featured traditional fairy tales. It moves in an unreal world without definite locality or definite creatures, and is filled with the marvelous. Here, humble heroes kill adversaries, succeed to kingdoms, and marry princesses. The characters and motifs of fairy tales are simple and archetypal. See? That's what connects both stories, archetypes. The song's films rarely lack an obvious bad guy and always features some kind of hero who saves the girl, the world, or at least himself. But these archetypes do not only exist in his characters, they appear in his choice of music as well.
Following the long-lasting opera tradition, specific moods and styles of music are bound to character traits. Thus, the music itself partially creates Besson's characters without saying a word. But only because Besson is so familiar with all these tricks is he able to deviate. Suddenly, his heroes turn out to be anti-heroes. His bad guys perversely charismatic and likable. And his princesses are presented as self-sufficient warriors. Masterfully playing with cliches, the song creates these familiar yet refreshing worlds. In doing so, he seemingly never stops emphasizing the power of music. How can I keep on smiling at their disguise? I know nothing good ever comes from life. My heart is no beginner, but still I can lose my temper. <laughs> 